Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, I am no longer Key West kayak fishing. You can call me marathon kayak fishing. Check out my new crib. So now I am up here in Marathon, Florida, about 55 miles from Key West. Got this live well set up in my front yard. Blue crabs, pilchards, pinfish, mullet. Yeah. <laughs> Peaceful, nice aeration system. Keep the bait happy because it's all about the bait. Uh, the biggest part about this place is lots of space. Got a little pocket area for the motorcycle. Very nice that it's got the front gates and then it's got this sealed off back gate. Plenty of storage for a the black beast here but also primarily made for a, a boat and trailer but lots of storage central air which is nice no more wall units and then wrap around yard so got tons of storage again uh, I'll be working on setting up a uh, kayak rack for back here it's got just enough overhang to keep it out of the sun so that's perfect then we've got a uh, Florida room, which basically is a patio with mosquito fortification in it. So it's all just a screen patio. So a little more space, which is welcome. So I'm still setting this up here, get some racks in here and get all my fishing gear set up. And we've got the back entrance way here, washer and dryer, which is very nice since I haven't had that in a long time. Uh, it's a three bedroom, one bath, or it's actually a two bedroom, one bath, and then a utility room, which this is. So it's got the uh, ventilation system going in there, the air conditioning system in there, but otherwise it could be, it was used as a third bedroom here. Right now I'm probably using it for my uh, fishing gear and uh, extra storage space. Right now I've got uh, my backlog of merchandise, so these are all face masks, extra face masks there, but I'll be setting something up here. And then we go into the main house. Got our kitchen area, full refrigerator, which is nice, a lot of storage space, uh, bedroom there, that's the second bedroom. Got the studio all set up. So you really couldn't tell that uh, I actually moved based on this view. <laughs> a lot of wraparound windows, so it gets super bright in here. That's why I got these uh, curtains and blinds and stuff. But uh, tons of sun, full wraparound. Then uh, sending up a workstation here uh, for the All About the Bait. And uh, doing the videos and so forth. Hey, my new mask. The real tree uh, camo design mass there. I'm up uploading a bunch of new merchandise. So this is generally my basic setup uh, for doing all about the bait orders. But I'm actually going to make this kind of like a base and then I'll have a satellite where I actually work out of uh, filling orders. But it's good to have one solid location for everything. Super happy about this setup is that I'll have a finally have a charging station uh, place for my laptop. I can basically just come back from fishing uh, pull the uh, card out of the GoPro stick it in the laptop have that downloading uh, pull all the batteries out of the uh, GoPros get those all charging and then I can go grab a shower get some food while all that's uh, downloading uploading and all that stuff and then when I'm done with that I can come back here and everything's ready to go so that's going to be very nice there um, Full on bathroom with a tub. That's definitely new. In here is where all the magic happens. Yes, but that'll be a different video. This is the room that I'm primarily reason why I moved. So it's all behind these doors. But uh, I've got some racks coming, so I'm getting that set up there. Uh, all this mess is I've been receiving 
tons of merchandise this week finally i had to hold it up while i moved uh but i've got probably 15 new masks uh this is just half the order that i haven't put away yet but we've got the uh, orange and green safety mask back which were a hot item america the u.s flag got a sunfish i think that one is a uh, shark great white and then i've got uh five of the real tree style camo uh face masks there they're already on the web page there so you can check those out there um Coconut Ink is finally getting their orders, uh, processing orders. So I'm getting embroidery done. Uh, I've got the guide shirts. Uh, I've got the black hooded all about the bait uh, tarp and scale shirt there. Um, hats. I just got the new all about the bait uh, embroidery hats there. The baseball style ones. All those colors. So those are back in stock. Plus I got three new color options um i saw a ton of the gray but these are the flex fit uh style uh, hats but i've got it in black and then i've got a regular cap in red with all about the bait and then this new i don't know jeans color fabric color whatever that is called but just a couple additions there um bucktail jigs are back in stock so I've got the browns, the white, primarily all the quarter ounce ones. I got in tons of them. So we're back on schedule there with the quarter ounce bucktails. I sold out of those so fast. Um, got more yellowtail snapper jigs, fill orders. And then I've got uh, the fish head jig heads. A couple of the items that I was out of stock on. I think quarter ounce, three aught, quarter ounce, uh, four aughts. But uh, I don't know. 5,000 pieces, something like that. A couple thousand of the uh, bucktail jigs. And then I just received the other, I already processed the other half of the yellowtail jigs. I think I did 15 or 20,000 of those. So getting back in stock, which is good. But that is the new setup. All righty. I hope you enjoyed the quick tour of my new residence. Uh, but I'm sure there's quite a few people that are wanting to know, why'd you leave Key West? Well, there's a couple things that came up, but it was just a really good opportunity. Um, the primary reason was I was wanting to expand the all about the bait. Okay. Uh, physically wise, I was pretty much maxed out in regard to storage space at my old residence, my old place. Uh, plus I had my stuff at the uh, Esky rods, but even they were kind of limited in space. Uh, here in Marathon, um, as you can see by the new house, I've got plenty of storage, a lot more room, which is nice. Uh, but then that also opens up opportunities to maybe get my product into some of the tackle shops or stores around here in uh, Marathon. Uh, with a possibility down the road that uh, possibly maybe opening up uh, an all about the bait store or something down the road all depending on this coronavirus thing. Uh, I had a few opportunities to open up on Duval Street, but it was just, I'm 100% glad I didn't, but the the risk versus reward, the cost versus benefit is extremely high uh, in Key West. Just the costs in general are crazy. Duval Street is super crazy, and uh, the rewards are just not as beneficial as you would think. So I always opted out of that. In the middle keys, it's a lot more um, cost reasonable, so it'll open up a lot more opportunities. So that gives the all about the bait store a lot more flexibility. Uh, in the short term, it'll allow me to expand while this coronavirus kind of works its way out, and then that'll open up for possibilities to expand on the outside. Um, second was fresh water, okay? Not like fresh drinking water, but fresh water that I haven't fished or at least shown on the YouTube channel. Now on the YouTube channel has been strictly my Key West, um, uh, the lower keys basically from Key West to Cujo Key or the uh, Blimp Road access was kind of my zone from those that are there from mall marker zero to mall marker 25 basically. And that's kind of considered the lower keys. Um, prior to Key West, I used to live in Key Largo and I would fish from just above Key Largo uh, down to around Tavernier and uh, that would be kind of considered the upper keys. 
Now from Big Pine to Isla Mirada is considered the middle keys and that's kind of where I'm at right now in Marathon right in the middle of that. Um, what that opportunity is going to give me is all new fresh areas that I haven't uh, videoed or shown or gone over with and it'll also allow me to do kind of a uh, a fresh take on videos in regards to the thought patterns of fishing a new location. So that part of it is going to work out great. Uh, the lower keys is drastically different than the middle keys here. There's some similarities, but there's a, a big differences as well. And again, the differences between the middle keys and the upper keys and all vice versa. Each one of those is a separate ecosystem, although it all looks like an island chain out in the middle of the ocean. But it actually, when it, in regards to fishing, it's quite different. So that's the kind of stuff that I'll be able to feature on and kind of get out of that same same as I was fishing in Key West. Now the third reason was it was kind of more of a kick in the butt was is that the uh, the house that I was renting uh, was got sold basically but during the time frame it was being put up for sale. Um, basically it all happened within like nine days. Um, I knew they had tried to sell it before at the beginning of the year, then the coronavirus, so they took it off the market. They were going to do rentals, but then they decided to go ahead and just put it up for market for sale again. Um, they let me do it on a Friday. Um, that next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, they had an open house. Um, that weekend, they had a home inspection, so I kind of knew that uh, someone was interested and probably put in an offer or a bid. So that Sunday, I was, I, I've was i been looking for a place for six months since the beginning of the year, but uh, I got on, jumped on Craigslist to kind of take a look and see what was out there. Um, saw an ad, I mean, saw a few ads, the normal dozen or so ads in there, and then uh, one caught my eye because it didn't have any pictures, no descriptions or anything. It just basically just said uh, three bedroom, one bath, uh, boat storage, uh, <laughs> And a marathon is basically all it said. So I said, oh, okay, so I don't know what this is about, but I'll just check it out. So I sent them an email, say, hey, I'm interested, gave them a little information about myself. And then uh, about five minutes later, I got a text on my phone, hey, are you interested in the place? Give me a call. So I called up, I talked to this lady, uh, and I told her what I was about, and she told me about the place, sent me a couple photos, and was like, oh, we we're clicking pretty good. So I said, well, why don't we set up an appointment for the next day on Monday and come check it out? So, okay. So I drove over here on Monday and saw the place, it's just like you did, walked around. Um, it was like, wow, all that storage space, it worked out perfectly for all my needs. And bam, I just gave him a lot of cash as a deposit, said, sign me up, let's go ahead and do this. So signed a temporary lease and uh, boom, that was it. And it just happened uh, when I went home, got my email, the uh, owners of the original place had sent me email, oh, we got a bid, an offer, and looks like we're going to sell it, but don't worry, the new owners are totally happy of you staying and not uh, leaving. Uh, so, uh, but I just let them know all I, I happened to just find a place today. So everything worked out great. So no worries. And then basically at the week later I was moving on in. So that kind of was the kickoff and basically nine days is like boom and to here. Uh, so it's a, it's a not as easy as it sounds. Um, moving into the keys is extremely difficult across the board. Maybe I'll do a video about it sometime. Um, because this is my second tour of the keys but uh, otherwise those were the key reasons for why I'm here now and I'm sure there's quite a few people out there are wondering where's the fishing when are we gonna see some fishing <laughs> well here's the kind of the game plan going forward in the short term no fishing <laughs> but uh, the only the reason being is that I've got a bunch of deliveries coming uh, the end of this week through the beginning of next week. And um, it'll also help me out to figure out kind of what the delivery system in this area is in regards to UPS, FedEx, USPS, um, just so I have some sort of basic schedule there. Uh, the other problems like I've got is I, I can't just leave packages outside. Uh, the entryway to the doorway has no overhang. So any packages left there, it's just exposed to the rain or and it rains almost every day here. So I can't go out fishing and just have all my products and equipment and stuff getting rained on. So got to figure that part out. Uh, another thing is like, I don't know if this is a, a 
a porch pirate haven or or whatnot in regards to leaving packages right out front. Uh, there could be groups that are just follow the UPS guy and he drops them off and they steal them and it's gone. So I got to work on something like that or so maybe a range where if I'm going to go fishing that I could just have them hold it at a, a drop station and then pick it up later. So that's kind of the, the hold up for this uh, next week here going forward. Plus it'll give me time to kind of get things cleaned up, organized and uh, all arranged and so forth. After that, towards the fishing, then we're going to get into some more non-fishing, but only for a short reason. Um, I'll probably do kind of just an orientation about the Marathon Island where I'm living and kind of the bridges around here because that's very important. That's kind of what this area is known for. And just so you can kind of get the layout of the land. So if, as I'm explaining things in the future, you'll have a gist of what my new home land area looks like versus my home fishing waters. Then after that, then I'm going to go into kind of a video breakdown of how I go about learning new fishing waters, okay, the processes that I go through. Um, I've been fortunate enough to probably catch fish in half the states in the U.S. and 25 to 30 countries around the world. And all those I've never, well, a couple times, but in general I've never used guides to uh, help me find the fish. But for each and every circumstances, I go through the same processes each time. So living here in Marathon, my new place, is not going to be any different. I go through the same stages I would go through to kind of figure out an area. Um, I can give you a hint. The first fishing video will be about how to get to the water. And although that sounds weird that, hey, you live on, on an island in the middle of the ocean and you're talking about how to get to the water, but... It's a big thing and it's a big first step and it's going to be a lot of problems or it's going to be make things really easy. So that'll be up and then I'll do other stages, how to find the bait, find the fish, find the structure and how to's and a whole range of videos. So I, I look quite forward to being able to do all that kind of new content. So keep an eye out for that. So otherwise, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the new videos coming up. Uh, check out the All About the Bait store. I've got a bunch of new products that I just kind of showed you earlier. So most of those should be up by now, hopefully. Uh, but that's the stuff I'll be working on. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.